Hi, welcome again. This will just be a short one, just to show you what one of our community members discovered, and I think it's pretty cool what he's done and found out. So here we have five loot parts. So you can have this in one POI. Oh, but it's going to be over looted. You say no, it won't be. Only one of these will spawn. Yes, that's right. You could have multiple loot parts and you can place them around your POI and only one will spawn. So each time you go in, it's not set to the same spot it was before. And how we do that, we go here and it's simply group name. You name them all the same group name. And then you, of course, if you don't want any to have at least one chance of spawning, you could have, say, all of them on point eight, and then maybe one will spawn, maybe one won't. But if you have one set to one, and the others, like this one here, set to point eight, point two, maybe I'll grab it. Don't have to flow around. Point .4, point .6, or any variation therein, you'll always get one spawning. You can also do it this way. one I'm sure you guys figured out what it's going to be there you go you got one of each tier in that in the same spot so you could be fighting huge amounts of zombies and you get here what do you get oh crap only a t1 loot chest or you might be awesome and get a T5 loot part. Who knows? But yeah, thought I'd share this with you guys, and it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun in A20 with prefabbing and what's coming. So, just to recap all your loot parts that you place around have the same group name, adjust the spawn chance to how you like. If you have one set to one set to one and the other set to like 0.4 or 0.2 or whatever one of those will spawn if you have all of them set to like 0.2 6 and 8 and no one that also gives a chance for nothing to spawn so hope you guys enjoyed that short video 